Good morning, Aquarius. How are you guys? How are you guys doing? Love my Aquariuses. I do. I really do. I think that's my midhaven. Um, anyway, how are you guys? This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If you are an Aquarius, know an Aquarius, resonate as Aquarius, and I'm already dropping the cards, or feel like being an Aquarius today, I am so glad you're here. Thank you for stopping by. Pull up a saddle, Aquarius. Tell me what's going on. What is going on with you guys? I am using this very dangerous deck today. It's super dangerous. I got it last weekend. This and the other, a pink one in the collection. It's this. It is called the Neo Rider Tarot Collection. Beautiful deck, but my God, is it slippery. It is so, this is dangerous. Dangerous, dangerous, dangerous. Okay, so yes, like I said, this is for Aquarius. We're gonna do a nine card Celtic spread and let is, let's just get right into it. Let's get right into it. Sorry if it's loud. I'm trying to keep this shuffling away from the microphone. So, um, okay, present energy for the Aquarius is, what's going on this week for Aquarius? How are they feeling? What are they up to? Tell me their secrets, Tarot. What is going on with the Aquariuses? Oh, two of Pentacles reversed. Why is that, Aquarius? We feel a bit unbalanced. We feel like we're, you know, you're, maybe you're trying to do too much and it seems like nothing's coming together. What's challenging the Two of Pentacles reverse? What's challenging it? Well, it's the Queen of Swords. Set and strong boundaries. You have a plan in place. Maybe there's something you want to go after. Um, but you feel like there's obstacles in the way of um, something blocking you from completing this. Yeah, Two of Pentacles Reverse definitely can talk about, um, it's almost like where you feel like you have too much to do and it's unorganized thinking. So you know, what is that uh, paralysis analysis where you feel like you can't get anything done because there's just too much to do. But the Queen of Swords is organize your thinking, break it up into small goals. What is the reason for the reading? Why are we all here today, kids? What is it? Ooh, Seven of Pentacles reversed. I feel like this is starting over. What you, you were invested in, in something in the past that was no longer working and Aquarius started over. And maybe it's, you know, there's something you wanna do, but it's just, you know, getting started is a hard thing to do. What is your past energy, Aquarius? What is your past energy? Oops, death reversed. Are we not letting something go? Or someone not letting you go? Are all these cards appearing? Maybe I need to move it over. Is that better? Not that you can see them. I know these cards don't pick up on camera. I just felt the need to use them. And if I turn my uh, light off, it'll pick up a little better, but okay, let's roll with it. What's on your mind, Aquarius? What is on your mind? Ooh, building three of pentacles. I love it. Gosh, this candle, moving it all over. Three of Pentacles. You, something wasn't working in the past. You pulled out your energy. You set your course on something new. And that's what's on your mind is building, collaborating with others. Um, just, I, I like it. But you do have to let something go to put all your energy into this new um, passion project, I want to say. What is in the near future for you guys? What's in the near future for Aquarius? Well, it's Six of Wands reversed. Are you afraid? It's kind of a six of wands reverse when he's upright. He is, he loves the attention. He loves, this is a Leo card. Leos love their attention, don't they? They love basking in the attention of others. Are some of you a bit shy? Or that's what I'm just, I mean, with, look at this three of pentacles. They're all looking. Are some of you a bit shy of attention? Kind of a, does attention kind of scare you? Um, being seen, being out there, judge, maybe possibly from judgment of others. What it, how do you see yourselves right now, Aquarius? How do you see yourselves? How do the Aquarius see themselves? I'm already dropping these cards. How do the Aquarius see themselves? Two of Swords, I like it. Decision time. But it's uh, this card really reminds me of the in-between and she's at peace with it. She can't see what's coming. She's got a blindfold on, but she's at peace. She's holding two very heavy swords. She's blocking her heart because, um, you know, it's it's a decision that other people can't make for you. You have to go within to find that inner balance, right? We have two cards talking about balance, one imbalance in the present, but how you see yourselves is making the decision that's going to balance your life. That's just what I'm getting. Whatever you were in here, there was no balance. And you apparently, I mean, you stopped investing because you weren't getting what you needed to get out of that situation. Now you're, you know, the decision you got to make is for you now. 
What is the energy coming towards you, Aquarius, you don't see coming? Could be people, could be energy you're coming in, could be people in your environment. What is it? Well, lovers reversed. Hmm. It talks, lovers, typically, the original is talks about the choice, but, oh, we'll see. I'm getting a lot of things from that card. I don't want to get into it until we clarify. What is in your emotions, Aquarius? What is in your emotions? Three of Cups, celebration coming together. We have a three and a three upright. I like that. You you wanna you you want it's like you wanna put yourself out there because you know this is where your long-term happiness is. But it's just this fear. There's something about it, this fear. And maybe it could be a fear of failure, fear of being judged. Three of Cups can be like, you know. Well, it's not reverse. If it's three of cups reverse, that's like almost fear of people talking behind your back and things like that. But in your emotions, you want to come out like you want to you want to celebrate. You want to get in this new energy and you know it's going to involve others. Maybe some of you are a bit of a loners or in very intro. Um, what is that called? Intro introspected. I don't know. I can't think of the word. Um, OK, what is the outcome for this Aquarius? What is the outcome for you guys? Oh, getting the job done, working hard every day, putting putting that time in to uh, create that same pentacle. You know, you create these eight pentacles and one day you got 10 pentacles, right? You're just working hard, working on yourselves. Look at this bottom of the deck. Look at this, the star at the bottom. What you don't see coming, what your deep wishes, but this is what you're working towards, self-fulfillment. Could be healing, but I really feel like this is self-fulfillment. You know why? Because you picked a path. If you know it or not, you did pick your path. You picked your, you're on your path, the three of wands. And it's with these twos, I mean, maybe it's the decision to, I just feel like it's like getting your confidence. You know, you picked your path. Now you got to put 100% of yourself into it with the eight of pentacles. You can't be afraid. You you have to jump into it. Okay, let's clarify this big bad boy of a reading. And we are going to do it with the golden tarot because why not? It's a great deck. And you guys could actually see it, unlike this one. I mean, this one is so pretty, but yeah, I know you can't see it on camera. Okay, let's clarify this for Aquarius, April 2021. What are we in the second week? I know I don't put dates in my videos because, well, you guys, this could have been your story in the past, could be your story now, could be your story in the future. Dates seem to like limit. It, it, it's got this inception that you can actually limit energy. I only do the months just for organizational purposes as I'm building these videos. I've only had this channel for one month, you know? I'm, I'm getting there, I'm trying to figure this out, guys. Okay, what is this present? Present energy, two of pentacles reverse and the queen of swords for you guys. Two of pentacles reverse and I dropped a card, what is it? Ooh, what is this? I like it. I like this, I'm taking it. Because I asked a question and the cards flew out at me. We got two of them. Three of wands again. Just like the bottom of the deck. You picked your path and this path is going to lead to long-term healing. We got the three of swords reversed. This is healing. You guys are healing from something that didn't work out in the past. You had to pull up your pentacles. You had to pull up your energy. You had to... It's something you wanted because for the death card to come out, this, is, this talks about regeneration. Um, regeneration of yourself, of your soul, of your path. It's the phoenix rising from the ashes. So you probably got burned. Burned in the past in some situation, right? Still energetically there. Maybe that took your confidence. Um, it could have been a work situation, most definitely. Could have been love in the workplace even for some of you. But yeah, it, but now you are seven of pentacles reversed. You had to pull yourself out of this. Again, I think there's a tiny bit of you still in there, and that is what's pulling that full confidence. But you need 100% of you, Aquarius, to jump into this. If you want that six of wands reverse, I mean, right now it's reverse, but you need to flip this the other way. You need to have faith, and you need to have faith in your abilities. I think you might be lacking in your, your confidence a bit. And I think deep down, you know you, you have what it takes to, to succeed and make this work. But I think this past situation um, took took a piece of you, you know, of your confidence. It did. It did. It did. It did. Because they had, look at that, three of wands, six of cups, and three of swords reverse healing from some, the past. Like there's something you wanted. There's something you wanted that did not work out, but you're healing from it. Rather see three of swords reverse than upright, right? Yeah. Three of swords upright is, that's a painful card. 
Okay, let's get into it. I just put that in the deck. Did you see that? And that belonged there. There's a reason. Let's just go with it, guys. I put it back in. Maybe it needs to come back in. If it's going to come out, it's going to come out. Okay, give me two of pentacles reverse and the queen of swords for Aquarius. What is this about? Justice is here. This is, Justice and Queen of Swords remind me, and well, they're both Libra too. They remind me, I mean, look, it's the, it's, it's the court card and the major arcana. So whatever this is, you're on your right path. And whatever injustice you got in the past, you're right in that wrong. It's like you're balancing the acts of karma. And if you notice, she has a square in her, like that holds her, I wouldn't say apron, her cloak together and a square. Traditionally, she's got a, also a square in her crown. It's not on this card. Squares talk about strong foundations, but it also talks about honesty. And this, this is, you have to, you have to be honest with yourself if you want a strong foundation. And, you know, and I think what you expect, what you give out, you, you expect back. And that's fair and square, right? Squares are strong foundations. They are about honesty. And you just want this equal balance. You're not asking for you to receive 90 and somebody, you know, and why you put out 10, but you just want, you want back what you give in. And whatever situation you're going into now in the present, you will get it back. If you're worried about you're putting so much of your time and energy into something that may not work, may not come together with the six of ones reversed, like maybe there's no victory. I think justice is here to say there, there's going to be victory here, but you got to put that time and effort. You got to put the eight of pentacles into it to make this happen. Three of pentacles, a lot of building. I feel like this is really work related. I do. Tell me about the seven of pentacles reverse reason for the reading. What is this? It almost feels like this could be a fear of wasting your energy in the present situation too. Seven of pentacles reverse is like wasted energy, wasted time. Tell me about the seven of pentacles reverse for Aquarius. Four of wands reverse. Yeah. You feel like it's not going to give you that foundation. If, the, if maybe some of you are switching jobs and you feel like there's no long-term growth, there's not, not enough advancement. Maybe you're worried about where you're at. There's no long-term advancement and you know you're going to have to build elsewhere. And you're just kind of stuck in the death reverse in the past. Maybe, maybe some of you are stuck in this job because you're not financially able to get out of it at the moment. Maybe some of you are stuck in a home because you're not financially able to move with the six of ones reversed, you know, to move forward. But let's, let's go on. We'll go on here. What's the death reversed in the past for Aquarius? What's the death reversed in the past? Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, lots long term. I feel like it's long term success. This is something you set your sights on. Long, ten of Pentacles. It could be even a, a marriage because justice is here. It could have been something you were in. It was a long term marriage and maybe it didn't work out. Maybe you guys are just separated too. If this is if this is a long-term relationship i don't want to say it's over there's a divorce if for some of you it could be this just could be um looking at your future but in the past that you had your you had the ten of pentacles in the past what happened why did what happened with this ten of pentacles card flipped over huh i can't i don't feel like i could take that seven of pentacles and the two of swords reverse i don't feel like it's a it, it flipped knight of swords you stop putting energy into this why did Aquarius stop putting energy into the Ten of Pentacles in the past? Why, why, why? Yeah, I don't know. Four Swords. You had to go to a place of peace, rest, and rejuvenation. You had to get your mental balance because there's Two of Pentacles in the present. I just feel like if this was a job or a relationship, it just took a lot from you. It took a lot from you and you just weren't seeing the return back. You weren't seeing that return back. And the Page of Swords probably found out something that I think that's you it's like you uncovered something you searched for something in this it just it just didn't work out there's again I mean I, I'm spending a lot of time in the past here but yeah the page of swords is just trying to uncover the truth you're you were there was just something that wasn't sitting right with you if it was a relationship maybe you felt like they weren't totally honest justice cards in the present um three lots of threes maybe you, you feared if it was or not maybe you feared that they were messing around or had somebody else either way present is the three of pentacles let's focus on that what's the three of pentacles for aquarius what is the three of pentacles at the top of the reading on their mind the moon it, it scares you whatever this is it's it's it, and you know why it scares you is because maybe you're the type of person that likes to try to plan every little thing and 
and see like 10 steps ahead. And for some reason with this, you know what you want. You, you know you want success. You want that long-term peace and that happiness is what you're going for. But for some reason, if you feel like it's almost, you know, you just can't see everything. It's kind of like clouded. And let's see, and it's just, it's, the moon talks about fear. It could be fear of working with others, building with others too. Fear of new, newer relationships and um, business or otherwise. Tell me about the moon. Give me another one on Aquarius, the hermit. The hermit, maybe some of you are used to working on your own. The hermit is a loner, you know? He, he likes to find the answers on his own. And that's clarifying with the moon and the three of pentacles. Some of you are kind of thrown in into the spotlight the hermit is the exact opposite of that you know the hermit likes to be alone in his cave or on a mountaintop um doing his own thing i mean there's a lot of like singular cards but it seems like some of you are going from being single to being with others and it seems like there's a bit of fear here of again i can't help it it feels like attention like or, i don't know if some of you are afraid of the attention of being seen of putting yourself out there. What is the Six of Wands reversed in the near future? Tell me about the Six of Wands reversed in the near future. Two of Pentacles reversed right next to the Two of Pentacles reversed. Do you, I mean, why do you guys, do you feel like you can't accomplish this? You feel like it's like too much? It, it might be too much on you. Let's see. I feel like that's almost stress. Like you're going to drop it. What is the, and it's very rigid thinking. The Two of Pentacles reverse is very rigid thinking. Tell me about the Two of Pentacles reverse for Aquarius. And the Page of Cups. Could be new love. It could be. The page. The pages also talk about creativity, that this is your creative. This is just about you. This is getting deep into your creativity and birthing something. There's something that you want to put out there. Maybe some of you are artists in music and um, writing and and whatever, but you want to create something and put that out there. Maybe some of you are afraid of being judged harshly for it or being rejected. Maybe people don't like what I put out there. Maybe it's not going to work out in the long term. You know, it's, it's just a lot of like mental thinking, but your heart is here in this page of cups. Your heart is here. So yeah, that's what I'm feeling with that. What is the two of swords? Tell me about the two of swords for Aquarius, how they see themselves. They're going within, they're making this decision, but you're at peace. You're in, it, two of swords also talks about the in-between, you know, in-between night and day, in-between water and land. But you can't see what's coming, just like with the moon. But I think you're at peace with it. You're at peace trying to make this decision. I don't think you're asking. If this is about, because um, we have the hermit and the two of swords here. I don't, I don't, I think you're keeping this, this uh, whatever thing that you're trying to work on or trying to overcome in your head. I feel like you're keeping it to yourself. What's the two of swords? A queen of swords reversed. This is an opposite of that. This is unclear thinking. Maybe this is what brought you into the Two of Swords. Um, the Queen, wow, is that their second Queen of Swords? Maybe I pulled it. Maybe I just showed you at the bottom of the deck. But yeah, a lot of Libra here. There is a lot of dang Libra. But yeah, the Queen of Swords reverse talks about getting your thoughts together. Um, it could be, you know, feeling scattered and you can't get anything accomplished because you have too much to do. I think some of you are trying too hard to come up with a solution. I think some of you might be trying too hard, like you, you're overworked, you're overburdened, you're running your house. You just feel like you just can't take one, you know, one more stress factor. And in the meantime, you're losing yourselves in this situation. What is this? What is this Queen of Swords reverse? What is it? Temperance reverse. There's no balance because Aquarius, you're given too much of yourself into some other situation and you're not given to yourself. You have to, you have to, you have to heal yourself. You have to give yourself before you can heal others and help others and lead others and guide others. You need to take time for yourself. She's got one foot in the healing waters and one foot in the land. She knows to be balanced. She's got to be, she's got to be in her emotions, but she's got to be grounded. So some of you might be, it's, you're just spreading yourself thin. I'm getting that really strongly. I, whatever it is, you're just spreading yourself thin. And then we have incoming energies, the lovers reverse. This could be you just feeling disconnected from your higher self, disconnected from your life, you know, because you're just, you're working, working, working up there, trying, you know, trying to get that money together, trying to pay the bills, trying to be everything to everybody that you're losing yourself here. What is this lovers reverse for Aquarius? 
Ah, I just, oh my gosh, that is so sweet. I don't, I don't, it just flew out of the deck. Look at this. Look at this. I feel like, you know what I feel like, guys? Look at this. That is that not beautiful? I feel like this is what's coming. That is so bizarre. It fell out of the deck just like this. We got the Empress. We have the Six of Wands, right? We have the, right when I asked this, what the lover's reverse is, you're healing. I think, what are you healing? And the star is healing too. What are you healing? You're feeling, you know, like the defense where you feel like everybody's coming at you and you always have to defend your life, defend your positions. Again, it's like paying the bills. You're just kind of like putting out a lot of fires, you know, in your life. You're like putting out a lot of fire, dumpster fires, right? And Ace of Cups is healing. But I feel like this is going after, once you clear the stress, once you take out time for yourself and get your balance back, because there's a lot of imbalance going on, get your balance back. Empress, Empress is good, you know, she's all four queens. You know why? Because she's balanced. She knows that she has everything to lead a successful life and she's not overworked at all. I don't even, I've never seen the Empress stand up, to be honest. She can, she is really good. It's like working smarter, not harder, right? She, the Empress takes care of herself first and therefore then she takes care of her kingdom. The Six of Wands, you can't be afraid to put yourself out there. You know, um, failure is when you don't act on it. Don't, don't change. It's easier to stay in the same situation to actually make that change and go after what you want. That's where your wish fulfillment. And a lot of, I almost feel depression with this Three of Swords reverse because you, when you lose yourself in life and you lose yourself in everybody else's life and energy and what they need, yeah, this is where imbalance comes from, right? You're going to heal that and go after what you want. I don't know. I think that's awesome. I'm putting that back in, but I know I spent a lot of time on that, but I just felt like that was really meant to be. Um, that was all on the lover's reverse. So you, once you connect with yourself, you've got to connect. However you do that, you need to take time off yourself. Go walk in nature. You, uh, I don't know. It's going to be different for different people. Take a vacation if you can. If you have, if you're a single mom, maybe somebody can watch your kids and you can just spend the day to yourself. Pick a day every week, you know, with the queen of swords reverse is stick. This is lack of a schedule for yourself. You, you gotta like get you that mental balance back. There's a lot, this is mental imbalance right here with the temperance reverse and the queen of swords reverse on, on the two of swords. You need to get your mental balance back. First of all, then you're going to get connected to your higher self. I'm not feeling like this is, I mean, for some of you, this could be talking about a new love relationship. And if you know tarot, then you can see your story within these cards. But I'm really feeling like this is Aquarius needing to connect with themselves because they give too much of themselves to everybody else. I mean, you guys are, you are very loving energy. I think of you as the Ace of Cups, you know, even though you're air and the cups are water. I, I don't know. I just have the Ace of Cups always strongly tied to your energy. But with the lovers reverse, yeah, you need to get connected back to yourself and to your higher self, possibly, even with your spirit guides are, are begging you to come back. You know, pay attention to your dreams. If you're looking for signs, pay attention to the signs because they're there. I feel like the high priestess reverse should come out on that one. Yeah, seven of swords reverse. This is this is also energetic. This is putting your energy into the past and the things that didn't work out. Yeah, it could be a liar, a cheater. And also, I mean, if we're talking love, why didn't it work out with the lovers reversed here? There, if this was a breakup, well, because you, you were dealing with a liar and a cheater. But I almost feel like this is putting your, this is you, you this is past. I'm feeling like this is past. Um, what also, what disconnected you, you from yourself? What's keeping you disconnected is your thinking, because swords are thinking and thoughts, right? Your thoughts are still in that past situation. If it's love, job, it could be even a number of people that did you wrong. It could be a number of people that, that really did you wrong in the past. And this is which it's almost like you just keep replaying it. And if you keep replaying it, you're not letting anything new come in. And that's the energy coming towards you. Maybe it's a, maybe something in the past is going to be brought back up. Not necessarily mean it could be, you know, it could be a Gemini or, you know, a love versus Gemini. If you were dealing with a Gemini, it could be a Gemini coming back into your life. I almost feel like it's more about, I almost feel like the energy coming towards you is reliving this, like, you know, where you can't get out of that the thought process is going around and around in your head and you don't even know why you're thinking of it. It's because you probably need to deal with it. 
it's coming back up so you could finally for once and for all deal with this past whatever was keeping you in balance to really look at it to really look at how unfair you probably were treated so when a new situation comes in you're only gonna you're gonna expect the justice from now on you know the fair and honesty fair and honest honest people that's the only people you want to deal with only situations okay tell me about the three of cups here in your emotions you want happiness you want long-term happiness three of cups is light it's just just it's i love it it's cancer energy tell me about the three of cups yeah the fool this is the energy you want to get into i'm whoever i'm reading for i feel like it's aquarius you're just dogged down you're dogged down by life you crave this you want a new beginning you want this lighted i mean the fool just takes chances because he has no burdens He's got a little he's got a little stick and a tiny little bag and he jumps from cliff to cliff and he may fall but he's not worried he's not worried about what people think and to get into the three of cups maybe this this is the energy you want to get into in your emotions you want to be that three of cups in the fool you want to just jump into it without fear because the fool doesn't have fear good or bad the fool doesn't have fear but yeah let me give me another card on that I just feel such a new beginning here and there's a little bit of fear with the moon of it working out whatever you want to get into okay tell me about this fool yeah the ace of cups you got there's something you guys really want page of cups ace of cups yeah three of pentacles three of cups there's something that really makes you happy aquarius you, you know there's something that makes you happy but do you feel like you can't achieve it do you feel like you're not allowed to have it? I, I feel like I needed to say that. Do some of you feel like you're not allowed to have what you want? If this is a person, do you feel like there's somebody keeping you or fate is keeping you from this person? Is it traditional thinking? I mean, what is it? Because you want to you wanna work. This is the energy in your emotions is the Three of Cups, the Fool, and the Ace of Cups. There's something you really want to go after. This is, this is soul. This is when you're in your higher, like when you're connected to your soul energy, this is, this is the path you should be walking on. This is a person you should be with. This is a job you need to be doing. And it's also healing work. It's going to heal yourself. Most of, most importantly, tell me about the eight of pentacles as the outcome for Aquarius. What is this eight of pentacles about? I feel like I needed to shuffle. I'm going to go with it. Okay, tell me about this Eight of Pentacles for Aquarius. What is this Eight of Pentacles? What is Aquarius working on? What is Aquarius working on? Seven of Cups reverse, knocking the illusions out of, that's what you're working on. Getting real clear in your emotions and thinking. You're trying to um, get rid of what doesn't work for you anymore. And um, maybe you, this is maybe this is almost like a life review in your life, like almost a soul retrieval kind of thing, where you're trying to find what didn't work for you and why didn't it work for you, so you can understand it, so you can get you on the path. You know what moved you when you were younger? What did you always want to be that you know you really wanted to be, but maybe people told you you can't be? I mean, is there somebody? I don't know. It could be many things for many people, but the seven of cups reverse is getting clear. It's like no longer having your head in the clouds. It's no longer dreaming of what you want. It's actually accomplishing with the eight of pentacles. You're now going to start putting effort into what you want. Tell me about the seven of pentacles reverse and the eight of pentacles or seven of pentacles, seven of cups strength. It's going to take strength. I don't feel like that's holding back. I feel like you got to stay strong on this. Because a lot of times um, you could be strong for a couple weeks and then it could just be one, one person that's going to get in your head, you know, give you that self-doubt. But you're going to have to stay strong in your convictions on this. What is this What on the strength card? Yeah, got to put the work in. I don't feel like this is burden. Not on the eight of, eight of pentacles and ten of wands is putting the work in to accomplish to accomplish your goal. I, I don't think you guys are afraid of work, hard work. You just want to see, you know, you just want to see... You want to see an investment. You want to see a return on your money, right? If this is love, you're not afraid of putting the work in. You just want somebody to put the Ten of Wands back to you. Um, okay, give me another one on that. Lovers reversed again. I don't know. I'm not feeling it. I threw it out there, but that's, that's again, a disconnect. That's a disconnect. Maybe it's disconnecting from the negative energies. Disconnect. I feel like, okay, give me another card on this Eight of Pentacles. 
Yeah, King of Swords, Aquarius energy. This is, I think for some of you, and this is, um, I mean, Aquarius energy, that's you. <laughs> that's your card. You wanted to show up at the end. I feel like you, for this to show up as the last card and it's upright, I feel like you guys are going to get there. And how you're going to get there and accomplishing is to, to be aligned with yourself. This is you coming into an alignment with yourself. This is you getting finally clear on a, your path, clear on what you want to do, clear who doesn't belong in your life and what, what doesn't belong in your life. People, um, crap. This is just getting the, the mental attic. You know, you guys are doing some spring cleaning. And yeah, and the butterflies in the back speak of transformation. And it's hard work. And so, you know, Aquarius, you could be a hard mind to change because the King of Swords, it's very hard to change this person's mind. So, but the good thing is, is he is upright. And when you're on this path with the strength card over here, with the strength card, it's, I think nothing's going to pull you off of it. I think with this, with this um, King of Swords and the strength together, I think when, once you get into this clear headed, once you stop letting everybody else affect your life and all their energies and dog you down, this is, this is what's going to lead, lead you to your Ace of Cups. Because I don't think anybody's going to pull you off of it. I really don't. I think you're going to be so clear and organized in your thinking. And it's, it's like a beeline to what you want. You're going to be like an unstoppable freight train on this energy. It's just, you, you got to get rid of what doesn't serve you anymore. You got to let the past go. First of all, you got to let the past of all those who hurt you in the situations that don't work out. You can't bring that into your future and think, well, because it didn't work out in the past. Therefore it may not work out in the future. That's not true. That's not true. That that's, that's very moon thinking. That's very moon. That's very dark kind of dark thinking there, but it's so funny in the end. It's very light. And over here it's very, it's darker. It's got the darker things going. But okay, Aquarius, that's what I have for you this week. I hope you guys have a great week. Uh, see you next week. Take care.